So today what we're going to be doing is installing Homebridge on a Docker. And so Homebridge is what Hoobs is based off of. And so Homebridge brings devices to HomeKit, which aren't available to HomeKit normally. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. So welcome to Technodad Life, and my name is Jeff, and we make technology simplified here. And so today, like I just said, we're going to be exploring Homebridge. And so Homebridge uh, makes devices that aren't normally accessible to HomeKit, which is Apple HomeKit. So if you have an Apple device, you can use HomeKit to automate your house or your office or whatever you like. And so Homebridge takes things like Hue, Nest, Ring, or just about any device and translates it so that it then can work with HomeKit. So let's take a look how we would do that. So if we look at the Homebridge website, here you can see what I was just saying, Nest, Ring, TP-Link, Hue, Decons, and Logitech Harmony. And now the one that's not so obvious on here is Decons Zigbee. So Decons makes several different devices, and here I have one here. This is called the Conbi 2. So these make it, if you have any Zigbee compatible device, you can make it work with HomeKit. And so I have one of these, and so I have some uh, LED lights behind my TV, uh, LED light strip we're going to use this for. I have uh, some light switches that are also Zigbee. So all these different devices we're going to be controlling through Homebridge using HomeKit to actually publish it so I can turn it on and off on my Apple device. Now, if we scroll down, so one of the things that Homebridge has done is it's simplified its UI so it looks actually more like Hoobs, but not quite there yet, not quite as automated. But Hoobs is based off of Homebridge. The best option is download the Raspberry Pi image for Homebridge because it actually have, has lots of little extras install scripts uh, that you can use that will make your life much simpler than it is using the Docker. But since this is a Docker channel, we're going to first do the Docker one. So where it says install Homebridge, scroll down to where it says Docker, click on that. And we're going to scroll down to this section here, copy this. Go to Portainer, go to Stacks, Add Stack. Call this Homebridge, then paste in our then paste in our Homebridge Docker Compose file. And so now we just need to change a few things. Change your time zone, your PGID, and your PUID. So how you would find that is you would open putty, log in, then type in ID and then your username. And so my UID is 1000, my GID is 100. So my GID is 100, change that to 100. Homebridge UI port, and so this will be the port that we actually access uh, Homebridge from. And so I already know 8080 is used. So we're gonna change this to 8090. And then finally, we need to change where our volume is stored. So if we go to Open Media Vault, click on Shared Folders, and then we have to have our Absolute Path. So click on the down arrow next to Relative, click on Absolute Path, and then this column will show up. Right click, Inspect, and then double click, click on your disk and copy that. Close that, go back to Portainer. And then where the little dot is, then we just paste that there. Now we're all set. Scroll down and then click Deploy Stack. And it's time for a cup of coffee. Once that's done, it will show Homebridge here under Stacks. If we go to Containers, 
You can see next to Homebridge, it doesn't have any published ports like normal. That's because if we look at the Docker image, it, the network mode is host. And so then it doesn't publish this port where we can see it. If we press on the piece of paper where it says logs, we can see Homebridge is up and running and the password is admin and the username is admin. So next we need to copy our IP address. Paste that in above and then we need to put 8090 and then hit enter. And that takes us to the Homebridge login page and where we log in as admin admin. And so now Homebridge is logged in. So let's just take a quick tour and see how this is different actually. So right now we're on our status page. And if you look at Hoobs, this has the weather, shows that, shows what version we're on Hoobs. Homebridge shows the temperature a little different for the computer, shows us our memory usage, shows us our uptime, and it actually has the logs on the first page here. Plugins is where we add plugins. And config editor. So originally Homebridge, you had to do everything through the config file. Uh, now it does have the UI where the plugins are, so it's it's so we're going to use that. And then finally, the accessory page where any accessories we add will be listed. So let's go back to plugins and let's add in that TP link plug that we installed le last time under Hoobs. So I've uninstalled it from Hoobs. We'll see how it compares to doing it under Homebridge. It should be almost exactly the same. So if we click in the search bar, type in TP link, hit enter. There is our TP-Link Smart Home. We just click Install. It downloads and installs it. Now for the TP-Link plugin, you don't actually have to do anything, so we're just going to click Save. Click Save. And then you can see down here in the bottom right, we have to restart to apply changes. So we go up to the top right, go down to Restart Container, and now the container is restarting. Now if we go back to our config file, now we can see TP link has been added by the plugin. If we go under accessories, you can see my TP link plugin has already been added by default. So right back here, there's a light. So let's click on this, see what happens. And you can see the light turns on and off. So I've been using Hoobs and Homebridge to make my home a little smarter. And so far I've installed switches, light strips, uh, bulbs, and I'm gonna work on locks next and probably some cameras also. If you'd like to see how to do that with Hoobs or Homebridge, just leave a comment in the description below and we'll do those in the future. Uh, you have a great day. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.